everybody. Ed here at Grizzly Taco. It's a lovely day here in Las Vegas. It's nice and warm. It's only in the upper 70s right now. It's supposed to be in the mid 80s later. So it's, it's nice out. There's no breeze. So it seems a little warmer than that. But I've been out and about since about oh, 5.36 this morning. I had a Walmart trip and uh, a few other things I had to take care of. And uh, my daughter and I just got back from uh, the Dollar Tree. I needed a few things there. And uh, we stopped at a different one today that we've never been to. And I found a couple new items, so I thought I would share them. I don't, I'm going to stop sharing my old stuff that I pick up. I'm just going to start sharing the new stuff I found. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm an A1 lover. So I just picked up a bottle of this. Now I know I picked these up before, but um, I have company coming to town for my daughter's graduation, which is May 24th. My dad and a lot of family are coming down that week. So we're going to have a house full of company and company staying at a hotel nearby and um, we like a one in my family but I'm not sure I think they're more into Heinz 57 I never buy this I never care for this stuff I know a lot of people do I just I don't like it I'm an a1 steak sauce fan all the way but I figure I'll pick up a bottle and leave it here on my lazy Susan along with all my hot sauces uh, that way I've got the, all my bases covered I want to make sure everybody gets what they like so I got that and then um, this is a new one I haven't seen there before. It's a, a Deli Market uh, Spicy Brown Mustard. So I love brown mustard and spicy too. So I bought a thing of this. Uh, this is a new brand to them. So we're here we give that a try. And then um, for Mother's Day, my wife thinks that we're doing hamburgers off the grill. And she wasn't too thrilled about that. So uh, I actually got some really nice... Uh, thick New York straight steaks and I've got an uh, anchote rub on them so they're marinating so by tomorrow they'll be just right I got them hidden so she won't know so tomorrow when she gets home from work she's thinking she's going to be getting burgers I'm making her a nice New York steak and um, instead of fried potatoes or baked potato um, my mom used to make this um, tuna dish it was stuff she, it was the um, was it the pasta shells some onions um, canned tuna, a little bit of mayonnaise. I want to tell you what, that was the best pasta to go with a steak. And I haven't made that in years. So I picked up a couple cans of tuna. So I'm going to make that tomorrow. And uh, oh, it's just delicious. Just simple ingredients. It's just the tuna, the shells, and it has to be shells for some reason. The little shells, I don't know why, but it just works. Um, a little fine diced white onion, a little salt and pepper, and a mayonnaise. And that's it. No garlic, no nothing. Very simple, very basic, but I'll tell you what. And it's not like loaded with mayonnaise. It's just got enough to keep everything holding on. And it's just delicious with steak. So I'm going to make that. And then uh, they had some new items. And my daughter wanted to try this. It's a Main Street Kitchen uh, fettuccine Alfredo with broccoli. So she's going to do this for her lunch. Me, I'm going to have a hot dog. I don't know. I'm just, I haven't had a hot dog in a long time. So I want one of those. So I bought her that. And she's going to make that here in a little bit. And I needed a, another thing of Gillette. I couldn't remember where I got this little thin one. And I found it. It was at the Dollar Tree. So I picked that up. So I wanted this. This is for my travel kit. And uh, I like these Twizzlers. These are the strawberries. They're nice and they're not hard. So, you know, sometimes you find them they're like real hard at the dollar stores. These aren't. And it's only 8 grams of sugar. So I can actually eat these. Anything less than 10 grams I can have. And I've always been a fan of Cheez-Its. And here's one single pack of Puppy Jack. So I pick one of these up. Not really, I could have them, but I really shouldn't. But, you know, just a few here and there, and then I'll just tuck it away. And then, as you guys know, it's Mother's Day um, tomorrow. Well, we picked up four cards for Mother's Day. Um, and the nice thing about these is, if you guys can see, they're Hallmark cards. These are two for a buck, Hallmark. Now, if you, we have a Hallmark over here by our Walmart. And you go in there, those cards range from 6 to $9 for a Hallmark card. These are all Hallmark, like I said, and they're two for a buck. And they've got them all over the place. Now, the Dollar Tree sells Hallmark cards. The 99 cent store does not. They're not Hallmark cards. And those are a dollar each. So anytime we need cards, we go over here. They got birthday, anniversary, you name it. They got them all. There's giant roll of these things so I got four of those and then here's the, the last item I picked up 
Now, I don't know if you guys have ever watched uh, Doc Inc.'s channel, and um, real nice guy. He kind of reminds me of somebody off of Duck Dynasty because he's got the big old beard. Kind of looks like Santa Claus, too. Very nice guy. Love him to death. Love his channel. And he does videos on everything. So I'm going to do a quick shout out for him, too, while I'm doing this. And uh, he, uh, he loves his family, and he does a lot of cooking videos uh, where he cooks for his family at his daughter's house. And she's got a bunch of young boys, and I'm talking young, and they're eaters, too. And Doc's really good about taking whatever he can find and turning it into a meal to feed these kids, you know. So I love watching those kind of videos, but he does reviews, he does mukbangs, uh, he does everything. Um, so he does, uh, I love his Goodwill videos. It's called Not Today. He goes in there and finds stuff and likes it, but, well, not today. He's not buying it. But sometimes he does buy it, but very, very, not not too often. But here's an item that I always see him get, and I have yet to find it, but today I found it at this new one I've never been to. And it's a snack time uh, stack packs of uh, crackers. These things are like the Ritz. And there's six packs of these in here for a dollar. And I've been looking for them for a long time. I always see him with these things. And I finally found one, so I'm gonna give it a try. And he says they're really good. He says he's never had one that's stale. So I'm gonna trust Doc, because he's a good guy, and I don't think he would steer us wrong. So I'm going to give these a shot and see what they're like. As a matter of fact, you know what? Let's open one up right now and see. The nice thing about these, you know, you buy those Ritz crackers. You got the long pack. You open them up. And then they, you put it back in there. You kind of just fold over. And then they wind up getting stale. This is just a small pack. One person could eat this. So let's see what they're like. Open easy. They look just like Ritz. No, just like a Ritz. Look like a Ritz. Mmm. Tastes just as good as a Ritz, too. But you know what? Ritz crackers tend to break easy. They fall apart. This doesn't. I mean, it's got a little... I mean, if you give it a little force on a Ritz, it breaks. This one, I mean, I'm putting some force on it. It's not breaking. So... I would recommend finding these if you have a Dollar Tree and pick them up. They're really good. Mmm. It says salted, but I'm not tasting a lot of salt in here. So, give it a shot. Go check out Doc Eats channel. I'll put a link below so you can go check them out. Tell them I said hi. And uh, you guys enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Talk to you later.